Hi, it's Kerry here. I have some new animals for the watering hole. An Indian pangolin, giant anteater, baby crocodile, Shanti, Shere Khan, some elephants, there's King Louis, giraffes, zebras and related animals. The animals and jungle book characters get up to some fun at the end. Two macaws, Bagheera, there's Baloo hiding behind the waterfall, a sauce, car, Mowgli and a chipmunk. Can you tell me how many giraffes in today's video? Give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. The elephant is the largest land living mammal in the world. They use their tusks to dig for food and to find water. Their main diet is leaves, twigs, bamboo and roots. The elephant's trunk can grow to be about 6 feet or 2 meters long. An elephant uses its trunk to lift objects or food and suck up water then pour it into its mouth. They can swim using their trunk like a snorkel. An elephant's trunk has more than 40,000 muscles. This is the elephant female. elephant male. Older bulls and younger male African elephants can be aggressive for no reason. Most deaths occur by the elephants stomping or trampling their victims to death. He's giving us a shower there. You can see the mouth as well. These awesome animals have impressive power and lethal strength. If an elephant's habitat is threatened they are more likely to be aggressive. Be sure to be careful around elephants with babies as they will protect their young at all costs. This is a male giraffe. The distinctive patterns on a giraffe's fur help camouflage it and protect it from predators. The giraffe blends in with the trees and bushes as its fur blends in with the shadows and sunlight. Male giraffes sometimes fight each other over a mate by swinging their necks and heads at each other. This is called necking. They are the world's tallest living land animal. An adult male can grow to around 5.5 metres that's taller than three adult humans. For giraffes, drinking is one of the most dangerous times as it cannot keep an eye out for predators and is vulnerable for attack. Giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam among the open plains and woodlands. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away. giraffe calf. Female giraffes give birth standing up. The newborns fall down to the ground. These infants are quick to get on their feet. Within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they are able to run with their mothers. That is so cute. The 
Quagger is also known as the Cape Quagger. It is a recently extinct zebra. It was one of the six subspecies of plain zebra. It was a yellowish brown zebra with stripes only on its head, neck and the front of its body and looks similar to the okapi. The quagga was native to dry grassy plains in the south of the African continent. It is believed that the quagga went extinct in 1883 when the last one died in captivity at the Amsterdam Zoo. There has been a breeding program since which has been successful. The African Wild Ass Male The African Wild Ass is the smallest member of the horse family. It inhabits rocky, dry desert areas. It is covered with grey fur on the back and whitish fur underneath the body. The legs of the Somali Wild Ass are covered with black bands with a dark stripe that stretches from head to tail. It has a high head with a narrow muzzle and long ears. The mane on the neck is bristly and stands on end. Zebra Zebras are members of the horse family. They make a loud barking or braying sound. Every zebra has a unique pattern of black and white stripes which helps with camouflage. When zebras are grouped together, their stripes make it hard for a lion or leopard to pick out one zebra to chase. Zebra foal, isn't that beautiful? When the foals are born, their stripes appear brown and white at birth. It learns to identify its mother by sight, smell and sound during the first two days of its life. Within 15 minutes of birth, the foal is able to stand up on its own. Within an hour, it is able to walk with the herd. Young zebras are particularly vulnerable to predators. So the ability to be able to run shortly after birth is important for its survival. A zebra's tail is about half a metre or 18 inches long. They sleep standing up and mostly eat grass and leaves. Wild zebras live in Africa. They are part of the Equidae family along with horses and donkeys. Zebras run from side to side when being chased by a predator. The ears of a zebra show its mood and they have excellent eyesight and hearing. The Zoss, part zebra, part horse, is an equine hybrid. Zebroid is the name given to an equine hybrid that has zebra ancestry. The Zoss is usually the result of crossbreeding a male zebra with a female horse. It looks more like a horse but with a zebra stripes. This produces a strong and robust animal. The Zoss is very horse-like in appearance as it inherits its shape, size, colour and temperament from its mother. It has bold dark stripes on its legs and rear with more stripes on the rest of the body, neck and head. A 3D puzzle! I wonder what's in there. Let's take a look. Now that looks familiar. A chipmunk. Lots of pieces, 22 pieces. I think I'll make this off camera. And here it is, last piece in. Chipmunks are members of the squirrel family. They're pudgy cheeks. Large glossy eyes, stripes and bushy tails have made them a favourite amongst animators. They
they live in a range of habitats, from alpine forests to shrubby deserts. Some dig burrows to live in, complete with tunnels and chambers, while others make their homes in nests, bushes or logs. The baby crocodile. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. The female crocodile lays her eggs on the ground and buries them in the sand to avoid predators. The parents stay close to the nest protecting it. When the eggs are ready to hatch, the baby crocodiles make sounds while still in the egg. The mother knows it is soon time to dig up the eggs out of the sand to help them hatch. The baby crocodiles will eat mostly insects when they first enter the water. The giant anteater can grow to 7 feet or 2.1 meters long from the tip of its snout to the end of its tail. The giant anteater's claws are 4 inches or 10 centimetres long and they use these claws to fight off predators. Anteaters are not aggressive but they can be fierce. A cornered anteater will rear up on its hind legs using its tail for balance and lash out with its dangerous claws. Anteaters are edente animals, they have no teeth. The anteater uses its sharp claws to tear open an anthill and pokes its long snout and goes to work with its long tongue. The Indian pangolin is an odd looking animal that belongs to the group of anteaters with scales. Males and females of the Indian pangolin species can be easily distinguished because the males can be much larger, about 90% heavier than the females. Pangolins can reach about 3.2 feet in length or 1 meter. The pangolin's body is covered with hard brown scales except for the forehead, belly and the inner sides of the legs. They have 5 toes on each foot and the middle 3 digits are well developed. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Remember to stay on for the fun ending. And did you count the giraffes? For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.